Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a crime thriller film, Touristas. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Alex sits on his bus seat, unsettled by the speed at which the bus is running. His sister, B, and the sisters, Misty named Lady Bro, tease him and tell him to calm down and enjoy the ride. Still, Alex remains on edge. He explodes and shouts at the bus driver, telling him to slow down. B reassures him that the bus driver drives like this daily, and that he's in good hands. Lady Bro finds a funny drawing on the back of the seat. B translates the writing, saying, Welcome to Brazil, now bend over. She then takes a picture of it. The bus catches up to a couple on a motorcycle on the road. It tries to overtake the motorcycle, but almost runs into a car going the opposite direction, and fails. It tries again and succeeds. Upon turning a corner, the bus driver suddenly sees pedestrians on the street. He swerves immediately, running the bus off the road. The bus begins to tilt, in danger of rolling down the mountainside. The passengers panic and escape through the windows and the sunroof. Everybody manages to get off before the bus can fall down the mountain. The passengers go through the wreck to reclaim their bags and luggage. Fit and Liam, two British men, appear and introduce themselves to the group. They join the group. While leaving, Alex meets Prue, an Australian traveler that can speak fluent Portuguese. She kisses Alex on the cheek as a greeting, but Alex doesn't give her a tongue massage feedback. They try again until they get it right. Prue joins the group as well. Together, the group plans a way out. They learn that the next bus won't come for another 10 hours. At the same time, the two British men realize that they have been on the wrong bus this whole time. Instead of going to a town filled with beautiful children, they are stuck on the side of the road. The passengers to sit on the side of the road, waiting for the next bus. Alex tries to phone for help, but gets no signal. To pass the time, B decides to take pictures. She takes a picture of a local child. Suddenly, the child's father pushes her away. An altercation ensues, which Prue barely manages to resolve. Prue explains to the group that thanks to the local tabloids, locals believe that foreigners come to Brazil to steal children and harvest their organs. As a result, locals have been rather hostile to foreigners. Two women pass by, drinking coconut juice straight out of the shell. When Prue asks them where they got it, the two women point them to the direction of a bar on a beach nearby. The group decides to stop by the bar, while waiting for the next bus to arrive. After a few minutes of hiking down the hill, they finally find the beach. They run out to enjoy the sand and decide to swim. The women change into their swimsuits. However, Lady Bro has forgotten her bikini top and decides to go topless. Alex stops her. Lady Bro decides to wear a thin white shirt instead. The group runs to the water. After swimming and playing around for a few minutes, Prue and Alex leave to get a drink from the bar. Shortly after, the two British men arrive at the bar with a beautiful local. Finn charms the woman and kisses her on the cheek. In his excitement, he kisses the bartender as well. B and Lady Bro show up at the bar and order drinks. Alex tells them to avoid the ice as it might contain bacteria, but they order cold beer anyway. Two other tourists arrive, a Swede and his girlfriend. The Swede tells the group that they drove to Brazil from Mexico via motorcycle and have been at the beach for three days now. Suddenly, Alex remembers that they have to leave to catch the bus. He tells him to slow down and that they can hitchhike later anyway. Alex concedes and everyone raises their glass to toast. They spend the afternoon playing football on the beach, drinking and having fun. Prue sits the football game and is approached by Kiko, a local who wants to practice his English on her. Kiko is talking to her in broken English when Alex arrives and introduces himself. They chat amicably, and Alex calls B over to introduce her to Kiko. Meanwhile, the bartender calls a local doctor, telling him that she has eight gringos, meaning foreigners, at the beach right now ready for taking. Afterward, he pays a visit to his assistants and tells them that they have a job. The two refuse, but are forced to accept because they need the money. At night, the group parties by the beach. They drink shots, and Kiko invites B and Lady Bro to dance. The bartender dances with Liam. Finn spots the beautiful local from across the room. She calls him over, and they wrestle their tongues. But they are interrupted by a group of rowdy local kids. They move to a secluded area, where they do a fast workout. Two minutes later, the woman gets dressed and takes money from Finn's wallet, revealing that she is a prostitute and was only after his money, rather than his bad hormones. Meanwhile, Alex and Prue get to dancing. Finn returns to the bar after his escapade and sees the Swede and his girlfriend passed out. Suddenly, Prue starts seeing visions and feeling dizzy. The doctor's assistant watches silently from a distance, as the foreigners wear themselves out. The next morning, B wakes up after having passed out on the beach. Alex tells her that their passports, money, and credit cards were all stolen. He correctly guesses that they were drugged. They wake up the rest of the group and leave the beach. At the same time, the Swede and his girlfriend are carried through the jungle like hogs. The men carrying them take a break by the river while they are relaxing, their two captives wake up and try to escape. However, only the woman manages to run away. The man tries to stop the goons from running after her, but gets hacked to death with a machete. The woman gets chased into the forest. 
Before her captor can catch up to her, she unknowingly runs off a cliff and plummets to her death. On the other side, the group heads to the local town to look for the police station. Suddenly, Alex finds the Swede's motorcycle parked by a local's house. He talks with the owner and asks him who owns the bike. Simultaneously, Lady Bro sees a kid wearing Alex's hat. When she calls his attention, the kid runs away. Liam chases after him through the town. He throws a rock at the kid, hitting him in the head and causing him to stumble. He immediately regrets this and goes to check on the kid. The rest of the group find them, but so do the locals who instantly start harassing Liam. Kiko fortunately arrives in time to bail them out. They then escape into the forest. They swing by Kiko's house. Kiko tells his mother that he is with the foreigners and that he will be taking them to his uncle's house where they can be safe. The group wants to leave on the next bus, but he tells them that it won't arrive for another two days. Kiko gets a machete and leads the group to his uncle's house. While hiking, Alex takes a break to pee. He narrowly misses the spot where the Swede's girlfriend fell. They continue hiking and eventually reach a waterfall. Kiko tells them that they can take a break here. Meanwhile, the doctor gets a call and learns that the group of foreigners are with Kiko. He is told that Kiko will bring them to his house by nightfall. The doctor tells his men that they should be kept alive because they are worthless to him otherwise. He notices one of his men not paying attention. So he takes the bamboo skewer from his food and stabs it into the man's eye, killing him. The doctor leaves to prepare for the operation. Back at the waterfall, Kiko tells the group that there's a cave hidden beneath the water. He daringly jumps from the waterfall and lands safely. Everyone except Liam and Lady Bro go down to swim in the water. They dive through the falls past a series of narrow crevices. Alex tries to stop Kiko from continuing further, but Kiko just swims away. The rest of the group is forced to follow, as only Kiko has a flashlight. Finally, they arrive at the beautiful and spacious cave behind the waterfalls. While Alex and the two swim and enjoy the breathtaking environment, Kiko talks to B. He excitedly tells her that he's never spoken to a gringo like this before. Suddenly, his expression changes into one of worry. He tells B that they should return to the town. However, the group refuses and decides to continue to the house. They return to find Liam and Ladybro practicing tongue massage. Before leaving, Alex and Prue decide to jump from the waterfall. They land safely. Kiko demonstrates to the rest of the group how to jump. He jumps into the water below, but accidentally hits his head on the rocks underneath. He bleeds and is knocked unconscious. The group fortunately finds the uncle's house. They set Kiko down in a chair and look inside the house for any medical supplies. Prue finds a medicine cabinet filled with pills prescribed to different people, each with a different nationality. Finn finds a stapler, which they use to close Kiko's head wounds. Kiko wakes up from the pain and walks himself to the bedroom. There, Alex finds clothes. They manage to find food and turn the electricity on. Alex opens the drawers and finds a bunch of passports. He also pockets a Swiss army knife. Over dinner, the group reluctantly decides to stay the night. While the group sleeps, Alex watches the security cameras. Suddenly, everyone is woken up by the sound of a helicopter landing outside. They walk out and Kiko rushes to the helicopter. He talks to the doctor, his uncle, and tries to talk him out of something. He fails, and the doctor and his men enter the house with equipment and guns. Inside, Kiko continues to convince the doctor to stop. The doctor's assistant talks to Alex and tells him to run. When Alex asks why, the assistant tells him that the doctor has bad plans for them. Unable to convince the doctor, Kiko guiltily storms out of the house. Suddenly, the men grab Lady Bro. Alex tries to help, but gets beaten into submission. Lady Bro wakes up, just as a sedative is injected into her. The doctor disinfects her stomach. The rest of the group is locked up in the dog cages outside. A helpless and naked Finn watches as the doctor cuts into Lady Bro's belly. The doctor tells them both that in Brazil, organ transplants are nearly impossible to get. This problem is only agitated by foreigners coming to Brazil to take advantage of its cheap hospitals and low-cost medical procedures. The doctor is angry over how foreigners continue to take advantage of his country time and time again. Lady Brown dies just as the doctor finishes cutting out her kidney. He tells Finn that he's next. He takes a break. He catches one of his men playing a nasty hormone game with their lover. They stop and get Prue to prep her for the operation. Outside, Alex grabs the Swiss knife from his pocket. He hands it to B, whom uses it to cut his bindings. He frees her and Prue as well. The goon arrives to retrieve Prue, but Prue resists and kicks his ass away. Alex manages to stab the man in the chick neck, but he manages to pull out his gun. Before he can shoot Prue, Kiko arrives and stabs the man repeatedly with a machete. They escape the cages. Prue heads to the waterfalls, while the remaining three return to the house to get Finn. Alex picks up the dead goon's handgun. The assistant prepares to put Finn under. She kisses him on the lip, almost as if she regrets what she's about to do. She then injects the sedative through Finn's veins. Just then, Liam enters the room with a gun. The assistant backs away, and Liam brings an unconscious Finn's body out the window. At the same time, the doctor's assistant notices the commotion through the security cameras. He rushes outside to look for them, but they have managed to hide under the floorboards. Kiko stabs his foot through the boards, and they make a run for it. 
One of the doctors chases after the girls while armed with a crossbow. Prue and B get separated. B hides under a rock, stifling her screams as large ants swarm her hand. The man hears the commotion at the house and returns. Back at the house, the doctor's assistant recovers and shoots his rifle, hitting Finn squarely in the head. An enraged Liam walks to the assistant and tries to shoot him, but also gets shot. While the rest of the group runs away, Liam's body is hauled back inside, so that its organs can be salvaged. Morning arrives, and Alex finds B by the waterfalls. They dive to hide in caves and find Prue waiting in one of the crevices. Together, they return to Kiko's secret cave. While swimming, Alex tries to drown Kiko, saying that Kiko was in on the plot. However, the doctor arrives with his assistant. Alex's hand gets shot, while Kiko is shot through the chest and dies. They swim away and surface in one of the crevices for air. The henchman with the arrow finds them, and they are forced to swim away. A chase ensues, and B is separated from Alex and Prue. She encounters the henchman and gets strangled. She manages to free herself, grab the man's arrow, and stab him in the neck repeatedly. Just then, Alex finds B, and they regroup. They swim away, but are once again blocked by the doctor and his assistant. They hide behind the rocks, as the doctor searches for them in the dark. Alex ambushes the doctor, and knocks him to the ground. He grabs a large rock, and bashes the doctor's head in. The assistant arrives and points the rifle at Alex. The doctor orders him to shoot, but Prue tries to reason with him, saying that they haven't done anything wrong. The doctor calls his assistant a coward. This infuriates him, and causes him to shoot the doctor, instead of the foreigners. He then leaves. The three manage to walk out of the jungle. They find kids playing by the river. Upon spotting them, the children leave and return with a local wielding a machete. Fortunately, the man is not hostile, and even takes them in to feed them and treat their wounds. They make it back to the airport, where they overhear some tourists arguing about whether they should take the bus or the plane. Alex advises them to take the plane. Alex, B, and Prue leave Brazil, forever scarred by the horrors they had just experienced. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.